Alright, how you doing YouTube? Joey here, Daily Vinyl 365 series, album review number 242, I believe. And, well, something special for you on Labor Day. I've got the Third Man Vault Package number 29, just came in the other day. And this is Pearl Jam live in studio with Third Man back in June of this year. And Albeit this is a live collection, it's not really an album, so to speak, as its release is very cool to the vinyl world and is sort of a nice treat to include here. So I want to take a look at what's included in the packaging, sort of go over what it's all about, and then we'll talk about you know the music as well. So, first and foremost, the package comes in, and it is this high-gloss, really nice sheen, uh, black matte with gold, uh, open gatefold, and it's sealed in the front, but open to the back. I love this uh, deck picture, the, you know, the sound levels, everything there. And, uh, of course, on the back, a nice portrait in black and white, and a track listing, of course. And you can't feel this through the screen, but it has a really nice gloss to it. I mean, this is made very well. There's no, um, they didn't cheapen this at all. So I, I hazard that with all of these vault packages, because I do own a few, they're probably not making much money, if any, and I don't think that's what Jack or Third Man is in it for, and I appreciate that about it. And one extra uh, thing that I happen to notice is that, like, uh, some of the more modern, they're trying to put out these releases. They give them this gloss or this heavy feel. Uh, for instance, the Iron Maiden, Book of Souls. But you go to touch it, and it just leaves your oils all over. It leaves spotting uh, in a bad way. This, not doing that at all. You know, as you just saw, I had my hands all over it. Not a single mark. So that just goes to point out the quality. Um, you open up the inside, and you have, uh, of course, a you know a printed sleeve, a cutting picture there, but it's not in there. It's actually in a nice, uh, uh, you know, the glossy with the plastic insert sleeve. And the album itself is a two-tone, uh, half clear, translucent orange, if you will, and then uh, black. And it has the Third Man uh, Vault label, which I think is cool. I always love a record label label. Uh, and in the grooves, it says, KW shouts in approval. Uh, I'm not sure if I know who KW is, but um, guess what? I do too. So, very cool stuff. Uh, Colors-wise, it goes along with all of the themes here. It's very thematically done, very novel. Also, uh, just in time for Halloween, I suppose. Um, but also inside the gatefold is a 7-inch. And this is cool. I really like the way the packaging is done on this as well. Uh, this recording was was performed live inside the Third Man Records studio booth. And uh, what that is, is a, I believe a vintage recording booth that uh, Third Man has acquired that uh, Eddie Vedder took a seat in and actually recorded uh, tracks that were straight pressed to this, which is a clear seven inch that comes with this package. And it has a definite throwback sound. Uh, and I don't believe it was filtered on it. I just think it's the quality of the recording derived from the record booth itself. And if you've ever seen a record booth, it kind of looks like a uh, telephone booth. Uh, but inside was a speaker, uh, a microphone type setup, and you could bring your guitar, whatever have you, and lay down a track. And I think that it's cool that they did that. It's uh, interesting to hear Eddie and his playing be put through such a tone. Uh, it works still just as well. Uh, just the quality of his voice is so leathery in its own way, sort of really lends itself to that style of music. Uh, but then also you have the patch, which is the combined Third Man and Pearl Jam logos. And of course there is an enamel pin, which I'll bring real close. Pretty cool stuff. And you think, oh, that's probably it. Well, then there's also a book. And this is a hardbound book, gloss emboss of the same logo as here on the front. So if you can't pick that out, it's uh, black on black. And it's, uh, it's got a number of black and white photos from the day that sort of, without too many words, I mean, a couple of pages leaves your introduction, sort of tells the story of them setting up. Uh, and it shows that they got there at 2. They didn't take the stage till 7, but they were loading out by 8.30. And you probably keen to say, well, that's a pretty fast set. And yes, it was only eight tracks. 
Um, I do believe uh, Pearl Jam were in Tennessee to play Bonnaroo the same evening, and they just made an additional pit stop to do this for fun, which I think is cool because at 30 years, they've mustered up the chops to take an 8-track set and make it feel like a 25-track set, and they still really terrify the stage in all the best ways. Uh, a little note card describing the vault package itself, uh, and just a lot of love going into this. And I think that it only could go or be given from uh, a, a community of record enthusiasts such as those that work for Third Man and uh, his staff there, Jack White's. And of course, being uh, fans of Pearl Jam, they obviously put a lot of love back into this for them. And I love Pearl Jam. They're, uh, you know, heartbreakingly one of the few bands I love I have yet to see, but they're on my list. And listening to this live recording really lends uh, some of that feeling. Uh, I have bands I've seen live and then heard their live recordings from and said this doesn't even own up to what they can do live, and vice versa. This only reinforces my desire to see them live because throughout the set they really rip through some of the tracks. They play uh, everything heavy hitting from Mind Your Manners to the more low and uh, relaxing tracks, uh, bringing up Jack White on Of The Earth and just really terrifying some guitars a few times throughout the set and showcasing true rock and roll, uh, a little bit of influences from the Tennessee area in some of the sound there and, and just really blending uh, everything that you've expected from Pearl Jam over the years into a very cohesive and brief set. And for that, I thank you, Third Man. So very cool stuff. If you have a chance to check this out, even if somebody's just streaming the audio online, certainly give it a listen. If you're a Pearl Jam fan, you're going to enjoy it. Uh, the recording is so tonally beautiful. Uh, just all the buttery notes from Eddie's voice and all of the riffs are mastered out so well. It sounds like a true recording. If they were in studio recording straight to master for a studio recorded album and not a live band album, it wouldn't sound any different in my opinion. So it's pretty badass that they did this. I really like it. I really like Pearl Jam. And for what it's worth, sign up to the vault because they throw out really cool packages all the time. Only 60 bucks gets you a lot of things. Uh, and there's uh, some chat rooms. You can talk to Jack White on periodicals. Uh, and uh, I think if you're into title, it gives you a discount for that, too. So, not uh, being sponsored to tell you that. There's no uh, benefits headed my way forward. I'm just giving love where love is due. So, if you get bored, find me on Instagram at daily underscore vinyl. If you do the social media thing, I'm on Facebook at backslash daily vinyl online. And, of course, right here on YouTube. Like my video. Give me the thumbs up. It lets me know that what I'm doing is making you feel good. Kind of a little bit of positive reinforcement, if you will. And of course, of course, subscribe. That way you get all the updates. And uh, as we continue through the 365 series, all the way through the end of the year, you'll know what's coming up. So, until next time, take care.